Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the aperture seal on a BMW i3. As you can see, this one is the one with the suicide doors. As you can see, it opens out. As you can see, this is the seal. You can see there's a hole in it there. That's what we're gonna be replacing today. As you can see, it goes from the driver's compartment all the way to the rear. That's what we're going to be replacing today. Now what we're going to do is we're going to unclip these trims or the trim tool. As you can see, it's just clips holding them just so that we can get access to remove this rubber. As you can see, these ones we'll be able to pull off, but as you can see, the actual seal goes underneath these trims, so we need to remove these trims. And then we should be able to just pull the rest of it out and just make sure we line it up correctly as it should be but now we're going to start by removing this trim See, we don't even need to take the whole trim off, literally, just needs to unclip it. If you have a look, as you can see, we just need to unclip it and then just pull it out so it sits, sits just right there. We've got to make sure the as you can see, the trim's got some cutouts. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but you can see right there. So we've got to make sure you line it up properly otherwise it will not fit as you can see there's a cut out there and then it comes out there and what we're going to do is just remove it you can remove this old trim if you want but if you can just lift it up and gain access to it then there's no point of doing that it's actually easier to just remove the trim so i've actually just taken it off as you can see these are the clips here you have to pull them out and slot them back into those slots there you can see and you also need to take that one off as you can see from this video and that's about it and then you literally just pick this up and just pull it off all the way around as you can see the whole thing literally just come straight off as easy as that don't forget to slot that little cover back on up there. As you can see, this is a trim. That's just locating on the back seat. Literally, all you've got to do is just unclip the back seat. And as you can see, there is a little plastic clip just there, which you just pull the top up. Or oh, it's got a little screw in it. See, that's the clip soldering it, you just pop it out. And I've already unclipped those clips. Let's you just pull that off. And if you do this, as you can see, these are the clips for the cover. I've already taken another one off to put back on. You can see. And you literally just slot the clip into there. Like so. And then you just want to clip it back on now. Well, it's best to lift the seat up now. So we clipped it back in. You can see it's not moving. It's going to put that one back in. I'll clip the seat back now just by pushing it back now. It's going to put this um, trim back on. As you can see, this one that sits there. As you can see, it's got the got clips that goes in the side down there. And then obviously, if you see those bits there, literally just hooks into those silver bits. And as you can see, the new seal is now on. You can see it's now fitted. Literally, you just got to push these bits in first. 
so that it comes over to line up with the trim there. Then literally just tap these bits down and it'll click in place. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Gab Official. Please like and subscribe for further content. Thank you.